Hello, hello to all the nurses. This is Mandeep Kya. Uh, I'm here to help you understand how you can answer questions related to A, B, G, uh, lab values. Okay, so today, um, uh, in order to learn this A, B, G interpretations, first of all, you need to know what are normal and abnormal values. Okay, so let's discuss first what are normal values. Okay, so as you all know, pH. Uh, 7.35 and 7.45 is normal value okay if it's less than 7.35 then it is acidosis okay and if it's more than 7.45 then it is alkalosis okay so as you know carbon dioxide uh, represents uh, our respiratory system right so as you know carbon dioxide is acidic in nature so more the carbon dioxide in your blood so your body is going into acidosis. So normal value of um, carbon dioxide is 35, between 35 and 45, okay? So if it's higher than 45, that means your body is going into acidosis, okay? So if it's less than 35, that means your body is going into alkalosis, okay? So higher the carbon dioxide, lower the pH. So that means it's going opposite okay so you can see here too so higher the carbon dioxide lower the ph so that means respiratory acidosis okay so lower the ph higher lower the sorry carbon dioxide higher the ph that means body is going into respiratory alkalosis okay so next you need to uh, know the normal values of bicarb okay so normal value of bicarb is 22 to 26 okay so bicarb represents uh, bicarb itself is alkaline in nature so higher the bicarb carb in your body so higher the ph value be so that means they both are going in same direction okay so higher the ph that means alkalosis so higher the bicarb that means it's body going into alkalosis okay so you can look at here so uh, if the bicarb is less than 22, it means it's going down. That means body is going into acidosis, okay? So if bicarb is more than 26, so that means body going into alkalosis, okay? So this is the basic thing that you need to understand before you understand how to solve these problems. When you can say uh, it's a respiratory acidosis, respiratory alkalosis, metabolic acidosis, metabolic alkalosis, okay? So first you need to know how they are interrelated, okay? So now you know if carbon dioxide more in your body, so your pH will go down. So that means respi in respiratory uh, acidosis and alkalosis, carbon dioxide and pH goes opposite, okay? So but in metabolic uh, case, so carbon, uh, sorry, bicarb and pH are going into same direction. So we are going to use Rho method. Rho means R means respiratory, O means opposite. Uh, by uh, sorry, carbon dioxide and pH are opposite. Um, in metabolic, both are going into equal direction. Okay. So that is Rome, R-O-M-E. So Rome method will help you understand, solve all these problems, okay? So you need to ask yourself when you get a question related to um, ABG interpretation, you need to ask yourself first thing, is pH normal or abnormal, okay? So first question is, is pH normal or abnormal? If pH is normal, that means it is compensated okay so if ph is abnormal that means body may be partially compensated or or fully uncompensated okay so those two things you will know if ph is abnormal okay second thing from the ph you will come to know whether body is going into acidosis or alkalosis okay so if pH is below 7.35, that means body is going into acidosis, okay? So you will pick the option in which there is acidosis in the options, okay? First, you came to know pH, whether it's acidosis or 
alkalosis. If pH is going high, if it's more than 7.45, that means body is going into alkalosis. Okay. Once you identified uh, from the pH, whether it's acidosis or alkalosis, then your next step is look into carbon dioxide. Okay. Carbon dioxide. If carbon dioxide is going high, right? So that means body is going into acidosis. Okay. So first thing is acidosis and then which system is involved? Is it respiratory acidosis or is it metabolic acidosis? How you will come to know? That is main thing and students get confused in this one. Okay. So once you're done pH, whether acidosis or alkalosis, come to respiratory and metabolic. Okay. Use Rome method. Okay. So I'm going to use one example from here so you can understand. Okay. So first example is pH 7.29. Carbon dioxide 52, bicarb is 23. So first thing is, first question you ask yourself, pH. Okay, so pH is 29. Is it alkalosis or acidosis? It's below 7.35. So that means it is acidosis. So how we are going to use row method? You are going to write R-O-M-E. Okay, and you can write pH this side. So pH is going down, right? So that means it will be acidosis. Okay. So next you can look at carbon dioxide. So you know carbon dioxide normal value is between 35 to 45. And this is 52. That means carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide is increasing. So carbon dioxide is increasing. Okay. And then next you need to look into bicarb. Okay. So bicarb is 23. So that means this is between normal range 22 to 26. Okay, so we can write it down bicarb as normal. So now you can compare, okay, using Rome method. Respiratory carbon dioxide is going high and pH is going down. So that means both are going into opposite direction. So if it's opposite, that means it is respiratory acidosis, okay. So answer is respiratory acidosis. Isn't it easy? Okay. Okay. Let's solve the next uh, question using the same row method. Okay. So in this case, so in this case, you can see first of all, again, we will do same. Okay. Okay. So pH 7.31. Is it low or is it high? So this is low. That means it's going down. So that means this is acidosis. Okay, we will write it down acidosis. Okay, so next is our carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is 41. Is it normal? Yes, it is normal. Okay, so carbon dioxide is normal. Next, you will find bicarb. So bicarb is 17. Bicarb is normal or abnormal? It's abnormal. Bicarb should be between 22 to 26, but it's less. Okay, so bicarb is going down. So we will write it down, bicarb here. Okay, so bicarb is going down, pH is going down. Both are going into same direction, equal direction, right? So that means this is metabolic acidosis. Isn't it easy? Okay, so next question you will ask yourself, is it partially compensated or fully compensated or uncompensated? Okay, that is another thing you need to know. So if one of the system is normal, so here carbon dioxide is in normal range. That means this is uncompensated. Uncompensated means the other system is not doing anything. So this is uncompensated metabolic acidosis. So when it will be fully compensated, it will be fully compensated when pH is normal between 7.35 to 7.45. Okay. When it will be partially uh, 
compensated when both are abnormal okay so in this case one is normal one is abnormal so if both are abnormal and ph is also abnormal that means this is partially compensated other system is working on it trying to compensate okay so that what we will do in next three examples So let's do the third example. Okay. So pH is 7.45. 7.45 means it's normal. Right? So you will write it down normal. If it's normal, that means it's compensated. Okay. And next question is, hmm, compensated. Okay. Whether it's respiratory, metabolic, you know, acidosis or alkalosis, let's look into other um, other values okay so ph carbon dioxide is 26 okay so carbon dioxide 26 means it's going down right so carbon dioxide 26 it means it's going down okay uh, then there is bicarb bicarb is 18 bicarb is also going down okay bicarb so bicarb is also going down. Okay. So whether it's acidosis or alkalosis, that's interesting, right? Okay. So we take pH 740, absolute pH of our blood, absolute normal pH of our blood. Okay. So absolute normal pH means, so this is uh, 740 is absolute normal. Okay. So this is acidosis going down. This is alkalosis if it's going high. Okay. So this is absolute normal. Is it going towards alkalosis? Because it's higher than 740. That means towards al alkalosis. Okay. So if it's going toward alkalosis, it's going high. Okay. It's going high. So that means if this is going high, and uh, alkalosis, pH is going high. And now you can look at here. What is going on? They are in opposite direction. Right? So we will say opposite direction. Opposite direction means this is respiratory alkalosis compensated. Isn't it easy? Right? Okay, so we are going to do next example and hope that would help you understand more respiratory alkalosis and acidosis. Okay, our fourth, our fourth example. Okay, write pH here. Okay, pH 7.38. Oh, it's in normal range. Right? Okay, so normal range means your option would be compensated. Okay. But which compensated option would be, right? So you need to write this down, okay? So if it's less than 7.40, that is absolute normal pH. So that means going toward acidosis. Acidosis, right? So acidosis means it's going down, right? So it's going down. Let's look at our carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is 33. That means carbon dioxide is also going down. Okay. Let's look at our bicarb. Bicarb is also going down. Bicarb is 17. It's going down. So you can see here, all are going into same direction, equal direction, right? Same direction. So that means it is metabolic metabolic acidosis from here you got the acidosis metabolic acidosis compensated compensated okay okay so isn't it easy hope it helped you understand okay let's do next option uh, next example 
So next is our fifth example. So in fifth example, you write pH here. So it's 7.52. 7.52 means it's going into alkalosis. It is increasing higher than normal. We will write it down, alkalosis. Okay, let's look at our carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is 48. Carbon dioxide is 48. It means it's going, it's going into higher, higher value, right? So it is increasing. Carbon dioxide is increasing. Okay, how about bicarb? Bicarb is 32. Bicarb is 32 means it's also going into high direction. Bicarb is also increasing in our body. Okay, so bicarb is also increasing. So what does that look like? So we talk about if one of them is normal, that means this is uncompensated. But in this case, you can see both are abnormal. So that means one system is compensating. So that means it is partially compensated because pH is abnormal. Partially compensated. Okay. So how we are going to find which system? Okay. So both so both are going into equal direction. So that means this is metabolic equal. So metabolic, partially metabolic, we will say, partially metabolic alkalosis. So this is our answer. Okay. Hope I help you understand uh, how we use row method. If you know, if once you got this row method, there won't be any answer that you can't answer correctly okay so this is one of the easiest method that we use to solve abg interpretations okay i can review quickly so in this so we learned about you know when when it is partially compensated when it is uncompensated and when it is fully compensated Okay, it all you can see just from the pH. Okay, so once you know the pH, acidosis or alkalosis, right? From there you will come to know, oh, so this is uncompensated, right? And then you can find it out whether it's partial or fully uncompensated. Okay, so hope I help you understand this one. Please like and share my YouTube channel. This is again Mandeep Gill from Prep Smart Nurses Hub. So please like and share. Thank you. You can contact me on my phone number 780-802-8284. Thank you so much. Have a good day.